know, me personally, I'm a bit of a pessimist. I don't think it'll ever really work because there's something called adaptation that occurs. Anyone who knows like the simulation part knows that the neural systems eventually mm -hmm. adapt. So in Ann Arbor, it costs 17, Silicon Valley costs 25. <laughs> um, so if you take this apart, it's mostly gears and motors. The actual circuit, if you look at the circuit, it's not very big. Uh, in fact, maybe it's big enough, or small enough, but let's see if we can get So, well, it's, it's on the same frequency of communication, so you can see. So, um, right, this is just for the mock-up, we're getting it working, but this thing is light enough to actually fit on a cockroach, and we've actually gotten the cockroach to walk around with these lights turning on. Now, the problem is, uh, this circuit, since it's driving electric motors, puts up positive and minus three volts. I mean, that's how electric motors work. So, if you want to simulate nervous system tissue, um, you have to do bipain pulses, which, um, you know, where it goes shortly positive, shortly negative, shortly positive, shortly negative, right? Um, one of the best, the best laid form for activating real tissue, and also you have like uh, accumulation of charge and electrical chemistry are kind of occurring within the body. So I have a group of um, senior engineering students. You do the capacitor. Yeah, the circuit is right there. Really? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, so what we're trying to do is um, take the output of this. You know, you have uh, you know, two or two channels. Um, and convert the plus and minus three volts to bi-phase pulses. And you can see that there's about three wires uh, in there. Uh, and what you can do uh, is typically what you can do is you have a little doctors here and the antenna is you can put these wires kind of in the antenna lobes and then you have the ground over here and stimulate. And if you stimulate here, it'll switch and you can cause a lot of direction. So you get a little bit of control. So we're trying to get that working. One of the ways is to modify the transmitter ends where you rapidly turn it on and off to uh, get the uh, bi-basic pulses. Or to put an additional, like, uh, what's your name? Keith. Like Keith mentioned, put some additional components on top of this to modify it. So um, the students are working hard and maybe in a month and a half we'll get it working in kind of a demo fashion. So um, at the moment,